Hey there, welcome to the Science Center. I'm joined by Sarah, and Sarah, we're going to be doing something that's kind of kind of fun. It's putting energy to use. Yes, definitely. So this month at the Science Center, we are celebrating all things superhero. So superheroes have lots of cool powers. Yep. They have lots of cool tools that they use. So one of the tools that they might use is called a catapult. Sure. So we have some different versions of catapults here. We have some really cool little basketball nets. And if you want to show me. So the way that a catapult works is a mechanism that stores energy. So right here where my basketball is sitting, yep. we have this little piece. So when I pull this piece back, all this energy, this tension that's being held is what's going to help our basketball shoot into our net. Let's see if we can do it. Ready? Oh, oh love go. that. So we're going to make a catapult to show you guys, if you don't have one of these really cool basketball contraptions at home, how you can make a catapult, sure. just like what our superheroes are going to use. And we pre-made this one. We did. So the idea is you only need a few supplies to get this thing yep. done. All you need is popsicle sticks and rubber bands and a plastic spoon. And of course, you need your little superhero pom-pom. And if you cool. don't have one, that's very easy. <laughs> <laughs> so to start building your catapult, you're just going to take five popsicle sticks and you're going to stack them up in a row and you're gonna rubber band each end. Now, if you are littler, you might want a grown-up's help with this. The rubber bands can be a little tricky, but. That's gonna be the kind of time. strength, that cross member is yeah, what she's we're, working on we're here. We're building the base of our catapult. This is what's gonna hold our spoon, which is our launcher. Yes. Okay, so we've got one end there. And while you're doing that, the idea is you're using potential energy, pulling it back, That's and right. then getting into the kinetic energy of actually firing it. Of actually it. shooting the yeah. catapult and the superhero. Love that. All right, so there we've got our base. So now we're gonna build the lever, which is basically the part that's going to hold that tension to shoot the spoon. Yep, yep. So to build the lever, you just take two of those popsicle sticks, <laughs> and instead of rubber banding both ends, you're gonna rubber band just one end. Okay, perfect. Okay, because that open end is what you're going to use to connect it to the base. Yes, all right. Okay, so and then once that. that's done, connecting the okay. two of them together. Together, so I'm gonna go ahead and just open them up and slide that base right down the center. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be perfectly centered, you just wanna get it as best as you can. All right, and then I'm gonna take another rubber band, and to keep our base nice and sturdy, I'm gonna go ahead and crisscross yep. through the middle. Perfect. Okay, just as much as you can. Yep. Okay, get my finger out of there. All right, now we've got our base there, okay? So now we're gonna take one more rubber band, and we're gonna crisscross the other side. Yep. Stability. Yes, <laughs> gotta make sure your base is nice and stable, especially if you really have got a super on there. You don't want him going anywhere, no. he's not supposed to. All right, so that is our base. So you can already kind of see yeah, yeah. lever, but we don't have a nice little seat. Yeah, we need a, we need a holder of some kind. We need something for him. So that's where our spoon's gonna come in. We're gonna take the spoon, okay? You're gonna hold it on there, just like how I did with the other popsicle sticks, and you're gonna wrap that rubber band. Ooh. I love that you can take arts and crafts and demonstrate actual <laughs> science. Like, it is very isn't cool. Isn't it perfect? It is. It's a nice way to show that things, you know, that sound really complicated, like a catapult. Right. I can get my rubber band on there. And it's there just with household supplies or some very minor things to pick up. Yes. So you could use this. You could use bigger popsicle sticks. Mm -hmm. You could use a bigger spoon, maybe yeah. like a kitchen spoon. Yep. All right. I think we're ready to All go. All right. Once we're done. Mm -hmm. You're going to load your superhero You're going to load there. your superhero in the catapult. In there. All right. We're going to put it on the ground. Yep. Hold the base hold for stability. Base. What's what's the superhero's name? What are we going to name him? Oh, I don't know. Him or her? I mean... Let's see, we've got Memphis, he's our skunk. We'll name him Memphis. Memphis is a good Memphis, superhero. love it. <laughs> Walking down Beale. All right, three, two, one. Boom! Got it! Love yes. it. So when you, fight, when you pull that spoon back, all that tension, like what we saw in our basketball yeah. hole, shot into the air and that kinetic energy was released, launching our superhero. And the idea here is to just demonstrate science through fun. Uh, Sarah, you can experience making things like this and other examples of how science is cool here at the Science Center. Definitely. So we are celebrating all things superhero, like I said. So we have Superhero Weekend coming up. It is March 16th and 17th. We're going to have a ton of stuff going on throughout the building, including making things like catapults. We're going to have some pom-pom launchers where you can really get in on the fun. Yeah. You can also check out our website, osc.org, if you want more ideas. Smash, boom, wham. Love That's it. Right. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for the science of it. Thanks so much.